Okay, let's take question number 52. Let alpha beta be real numbers such that limit x approaching to 0 x square sin beta x upon alpha x minus sin x is equal to 1. Then 6 times alpha plus beta is equal to. Let's try this one. We can start it by using expansion x square multiplied with beta x minus beta x whole cube upon factorial 3 and so on divided by alpha x minus x minus x cube upon factorial 3 and so on is equal to 1. We can see the lowest power of x in numerator is 3. So, denominator should have definitely the power same as 3, the lowest power because the numerical value obtained, the limiting value is non-zero as 1. So, the coefficient of x must be 0. Alpha minus 1 is 0 giving me alpha equals 1. When alpha is substituted as 1, we can see the limiting value is obtained as beta taking x cube common and cancelling in numerator and denominator divided by 1 by factorial 3 is equal to 1. So, this gives me beta equals 1 by 6. Therefore, 6 times alpha plus beta that is 6 times 1 plus 1 by 6 or simply 7. Right? Let us take the next one that is question number 53. Let m be the smallest positive integer such that the coefficient of x square in the expansion of this expression is equal to 3n plus 1 multiplied with 51c3 for some positive number n. Then the value of n is to be obtained. Coefficient of x square in its expansion, we can write it as 2c2 plus 3c2 plus 4c2 and so on till 49c2 plus m square multiplied with 50c2 is equal to the given value. 2c2 we can read it is 1 so simply 3c3 plus 3c2 gives me 4c3 and so on. So, this entire term can be written simply as 50c3 plus m square 50c2 3n 51c3 plus 51c3. If we take this 50c3 here, so 51c3 minus 50c3 meaning 50c2. So, we have m square minus 1 50c2 is equal to 3n 51c3. Just expand to get the relation in m and n m square minus 1 multiplied with 15 to 49 upon 2, 3n multiplied with 51, 50, 49 upon 3, 2, 1. So, we can see this term is cancelled. We are left with after cancelling this term with this one, right? This gives me 3 also cancelled. m square minus 1 is equal to 51n or m square is equal to 51 n plus 1. m is the smallest positive integer, n is also an integer. So, I have to find the number m such that the square is equal to 51 n plus 1. Starting substituting the values for n from 1, we can see on substituting n equals 5, m square equals 256, we obtain the smallest positive integer. So, the value for n is obtained as 5. This part is clear? Okay. Let us take the last question of this paper, question number 54. Okay. Let us take question number 54. The total number of distinct x in the closed interval 0 to 1 for which this integral equals 2x minus 1 is. Let us start this one by assuming a function integral 0 to x t square upon 1 plus t4 dt minus 2x plus 1. 
If I differentiate this function, I get f dash x equals x square upon 1 plus x 4 minus 2, which is clearly negative for the interval 0 to 1. Right? So, we can conclude here that the function f is decreasing function. in the given interval. Fine. Now, when x is approaching to 0, I can see the value of the function is approaching to 0 minus 0 plus 1, meaning f of 0 when approaching to 0, say from the positive side, this is always positive. f of 1, when we are approaching towards 1, we can see here it is integral 0 to 1 t square upon 1 plus t 4 dt. I can also read it as integral 0 to 1 dt upon t square plus 1 by t square minus 1. Now, t square plus 1 by t square, the minimum possible value we can see here it is always greater than 2. So, the term 1 upon t square plus 1 by t square is less than half. So, we can clearly see the term integral 0 to 1 dt upon t square plus 1 by t square minus 1 is coming to be negative. Function is decreasing, it is crossing x axis exactly once, therefore, exactly 1 solution. So, we can say the required result for this question is 1. This is clear. So, this is all about J advanced paper 1 of 2016 code 2. Thank you.